Our seance was hijacked by another mage and used a powerful spell to turn fennel into a bloody crisp. He said your name. He knew you. That's admittedly not a good thing, but he did say it had been a long time. And all we've done is waste ours. You made me a promise. It's a promise that I aim to keep, Chaz. We're one step closer to finding the man that's holding your daughter hostage. Only five books contain this spell, each scattered across the globe by an Irish high king. Now, if we can find the location of the nearest book... We find Geraldine. Exactly. Let me hold the spell. a placard, anything that can give you a name. Haskins Railroad. Do you see Geraldine? No. It looks like I'm all alone. <gasps> yeah, let me look at that. <gasps> Someone out there has more power than I care to chance upon. Tell me, what happened? There was a swirling vapor that drifted past me. When I turned around, there was a man in a cloak. And he lunged at me with a knife. Cauldrons and books. Cloaks and daggers could be some sort of alchemist or a mage gone mad. What did he look like? Describe it. Easy, Charles. Just let her breathe. Don't tell me. Easy. I want to know what the man who has my daughter looks like. Let's go and see for ourselves, shall we? Haskins Railroad Yard, you say? Yeah. All right, then. Let's check it out. Phone book, this is the address. I called the Transit Authority. They said Haskins Railroad Yard was shut down years ago. Uh, more dead ends, more wasted time. I've already said the nine tenths of reality is perception, and in my trade, it's eleven tenths. Ah, you see, if a mage can't completely change your idea of what's real, well, then the trick don't work. I respect and invoke thee. For the six directions converge here. Lift all concealment, reveal thy truth. <laughs> it was invisible. By way of a cloaking spell, and an elementary one at that. residence here certainly harbors a dark side. You may have the memory. I had a feeling you'd come. I think I even hoped you would. What have you done with the girl's soul? You'll have to be more specific. My hearing isn't what it used to be. <sighs> Zed, meet Felix Faust. Lifetime apprentice and second fiddle to the greatest black magicians of his generation. Second fiddle indeed, Constantine. The mages played the melody, but I wrote the concerto. They built the legends on my shoulders. Spin your tune someplace else, Felix, and point me to your master. This is my doing, no one else's. I spent a lifetime serving others. Now I serve only myself. He's telling the truth, John. He's a geriatric spellcaster chasing a prime that never was. I alone discovered how to separate soul from body, and those souls have given me more power than any magician of the modern age. And one of those souls belongs to my daughter. I'm taking him! That's enough, I said, you What do you want? I want you to serve me. A malignant demon named Carabas and is preying on my victim, siphoning powers that belong to me. I see no reason to endanger myself when I have you at my beckoning. Cast the parasite to hell, and I'll free the girl. Is he lying, John? One talented and honorable mage would never lie to another. 
the name of Denny of Shed Sleffer, he who endures. Where is the demonic bottom feeder dwelling? In an abandoned warehouse in Red Hook. And for the sake of his daughter, I suggest you find him before he finds you. Why are we leaving? If a magician dies, his spells are broken. Let's kill him. He felt what he can do with those souls in his pocket. We play his game until we can find an advantage. Since when do you run from Felix Faust? The last time we saw him, you were taking his gin money in a Hell's Kitchen poker game. And now he's bloody stronger than me. It's a problem with the rise in darkness. Even a relic like Faust can become lethal overnight. We'll keep doing all we can, Chaz. But what we're doing isn't enough. She doesn't have much time. You promised me, John. And you promised me you'd do exactly as I said. You know... When you attack Faust, you're lucky that he didn't snuff out Geraldine's soul in spite. That old man finally has the power that he's always yearned for. He's vicious and impulsive, and the only way to kill him is to get inside his defenses, and until we do that, we bide our time, and we do as he says. Now go to the hospital. Be with Renee. You can't ask Chas to leave now. Oh, can't I? We already left behind one dead body. Didn't deserve what he got. We need clear heads. You go or I go. Well, that man better than I know myself is a bloody powder keg. We don't want to be anywhere near him when he blows. a nasty bugger. Preys on sleeping victims, paralyzing their bodies as it dines on their innards, sucks their life away. Felix's coma victims and a meal ready to eat. Won't banishing Carabasa or make us stronger? In the short term, yes, but it keeps Geraldine alive. It gives us a chance to figure out a plan. We need the sword held in the circle long enough so I can order it to help. When Carabasan enters, we'll retreat behind the circle line. When he steps inside, the only place it's going is down.